Imagine this, more than 4,500 years ago, the ancient Egyptians built structures of such immense size and complexity that to this day, the best engineers and construction experts in the world do not know how they did it, nor are able to imitate such work with the same tools that were supposedly available at the time. Far too many theories exist about such ancient engineering marvels. In some cases, these theories go a little over the edge with allegations that the ancient Egyptians got help from aliens, while others allege that the pyramids are much older and are actually remnants of a previously advanced human civilization that was destroyed during a massive global flood that marked the end of the final days of the last ice age about 13 to 15,000 years ago. What is most interesting is that most experts agree that the oldest and biggest of the pyramids, the Great Pyramid of Giza, which served as the tomb of Pharaoh Khufu, is more sophisticated than the others that were built later. And what really makes experts go crazy is that all sides of all three of the Giza pyramids were astronomically oriented to the north-south and east-west within a small fraction of a degree. Additionally, the arrangement of the pyramids is a representation of the Orion constellation. This is insane, since even today, achieving such complexity and detail in construction is not exactly a walk in the park. Anyway, all of this meant that when the Egyptian government decided to build a world-class colossal museum to host the most important 100,000 plus artifacts that range from size as small as a child vest to a small apartment building, it had to make sure that this museum is just as majestic and impressive as its ancient history and the priceless pieces within it. What is the story of the Grand Egyptian Museum? gem that took 21 years to complete? What are its insane features? And how was this colossal megastructure built? The story of the Grand Egyptian Museum began on January 5, 2002, when the former Egyptian president, Hosni Mubarak, laid the foundation stone of the Grand Egyptian Museum about two kilometers from the Giza Pyramid Complex. The initiative was met with literal tears by millions of Egyptians and especially historians and archaeologists because this rich and mesmerizing ancient civilization had been looted and in a state of disarray for hundreds of years. What many people do not know is that the Egyptian government was and is still working around the hour to retrieve tens of thousands of looted and stolen artifacts that, sadly, were often found in the collections of rich and renowned individuals, families, and even museums in places like Paris and London. Today, in the British Museum alone, more than 50,000 priceless Egyptian artifacts are present. These pieces include the Rosetta Stone, a 5,000-year-old mummy, and sculptures of Ramses II, which were taken by the British colonial forces during their occupation of Egypt from 1882 to 1956. Mind you that the British Museum, which opened in 1759, was already in possession of countless artifacts which were acquired from looters who often not just stole, but also vandalized and damaged Egypt's tombs, pyramids, and other sites. Sadly, the battle between Egypt and Britain is still ongoing, but there are hopes that these artifacts will be returned to Egypt and placed in the Grand Egyptian Museum, which is currently in the process of opening and is expected to be fully operational by October 2023. Back to the story of building this amazing museum. In 2006, the 3,200 years old statue of Ramses II was relocated from Ramses Square in Cairo to the Grand Egyptian Museum site. It was moved to the atrium of the museum in January 2018. In 2007, the museum secured a $300 million loan from the Japan Bank for international cooperation for construction, which is estimated to cost about $1 billion. The remaining budget was covered by the Egyptian government and some donations from international organizations and even collectors who voluntarily returned some artifacts along with some donations. In 2008, a competition for the design was announced 
leading to more than 5,000 designs being submitted to the Egyptian Ministry of Culture. We will get back to the design part in a little bit. In 2009, excavations began, and in 2012, a joint venture between Egypt's Oriscom Construction and Belgian Bessex was awarded the contract for Phase 3 of the project. The following five years were quite chaotic for the construction of the museum due to various political crises that hit Egypt quite hard and caused serious economic turmoil. However, in 2017, construction was back online and in full swing. Everything was going fine and the museum was set to open in early 2020, but then bloody COVID hit and everything stopped again. Although there has been no official announcement of an opening date, in July 2023, an announcement was made that the grand opening will take place between October 2023 and February 2024. As we said earlier, the museum design was decided by an architectural competition. The organizers accepted thousands of submissions and 1,557 entries from 82 countries were taken into serious consideration. This made the competition the second largest architectural competition in history. In the second stage of the competition, 20 entries submitted additional information on their designs. Judging was completed in June 2003. The competition was won by architects Royson Hennigan and Shifu Peng, and their company, Hennigan Peng Architects of Ireland. The final building design was submitted by Hennigan Peng Architects, Buro Happold and Arup. The landscape and site master plan was designed by West 8. The exhibition master plan, exhibition design, and museology were led by Atelier Bruckner. Needless to say, the building is massive and covers an area of 81,000 square meters of floor area. It is shaped like a chamfered triangle. Due to the level difference of the desert's plateau for the location, the design is defined by a large stone facade that changes from day to night and three visual axes, one for each pyramid in the backdrop. Furthermore, these axes split the building up into three main zones in which the museum's program emerges. The building's north and south walls line up directly with the Great Pyramid of Khufu and the Pyramid of Menkara. The front of the museum includes a large plaza filled with date palms and a facade made of translucent alabaster stone. Inside the main entrance is a large atrium where ultra-large statues are exhibited. It also features advanced technologies such as virtual reality and an international center of communication between museums to promote direct contact with other local and international museums. Nearly 24,000 square meters of the total area are dedicated to permanent exhibition space, a children's museum, conference and education facilities, and a large conservation center. Plenty of space is actually dedicated to recreational activities such as a library in the Egyptian civilization, a room for virtual reality, and a commercial area consisting of cafes, restaurants, bank branches, exchange houses, and even a gym. The entire experience is quite immersive, intriguing, and truly unique. From the entrance where visitors enter through a giant great court where a monumental sculpture of Egyptian pharaoh Ramses II stands in the center and the secondary forecourt hosting a grand shaded staircase that ascends to the original plateau level to the permanent exhibition which is located in the galleries at the plateau level which is designed for the visitors to enjoy a perfectly framed view of the pyramids. The following piece of information has not been indexed by online search engines yet. However, the sheer size of the Grand Egyptian Museum officially makes it the largest archaeological museum in the world. The area around the museum has also been developed and includes several new hotels, resorts, residential areas, retail shops, and many other amenities. In conclusion, this museum is not just a gallery. It is a true journey through one of humanity's oldest and most intriguing civilizations that mastered the arts of engineering and construction in ways that we may never understand. This leads us to ask you, do you feel this new museum and the mystery of Egypt's ancient civilization and endless tour sites make you contemplate a vacation to Egypt in the near future? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching and please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon.